In this demo, I'll show the basic OpenLMIS stock management features, and then a few more powerful features. For COVID vaccine rollouts, there's a high demand for more frequent, trustworthy data uh, for a few key data points, such as how many vaccine vials are consumed and remaining stock on hand. And with widespread rollout of vaccinations, there's a need for a simple workflow to track this data frequently. So the stock management workflow is one easy starting point. I'll start on my Android tablet. I'll open the Chrome browser and log in as a vaccine health worker. So here on my OpenLMIS dashboard, the menu items are determined by my account and my roles, and I'm going to show one of the most basic stock management workflows that can support COVID vaccine rollouts. So I'll go to Stock Management Physical Inventory. It knows the facility I'm at. I'll click Start, and it shows the products that I have at my facility uh, and the stock on hand that was last recorded. This page is designed to make it quick and easy to record the stock I have. So I'll fill in my current amounts here at the end of the day. Um, gloves, yeah, we had 10 boxes left. Uh, the masks, each we had five left. The syringes, so I'm gonna say we used them all. And, uh, oh, the syringes, uh, yeah, and the vaccines, um, I'm going to say that we had uh, um, one vial left with 10 doses. So I could save and submit this now, but I also could go back and provide the reasons. It's optional, um, but it's a great way to account for exactly what was used. And especially people want to know kind of what was consumed and what remains left. So I'm going to go back and add reasons for these unaccounted uh, quantities here. So we used 90 and I'm going to show that, um, yep, that 90 were consumed and that's why. Uh, masks, same thing. You know, but maybe some of the masks we had to um, waste, uh, say two of them. Uh, but all the others, um, let's say 88 others were, were used. So, um, Ah, it was warning me there are still some unaccounted for. So, you know, we say we have five masks remaining. Something is still off by 88. Let's go look. There we go. So there's two reasons those masks were used. Um, the syringes, yep, they were all used for the day. We consumed all 500. And um, those vaccine vials, same thing. So now it shows me unaccounted zero. So I've now accounted for and given reasons for all these changes in quantities. So that's optional, but can help improve the quality of data, especially when people want timely, trustworthy data. So I'll submit. Um, this is an optional feature. I can add a signature. It does also save what user account I was using. And once it's saved, it shows me all the lists of products and um, what I have left. I could drill in to see any products in the history of my usage over time. So that is the most basic OpenLMIS stock management workflow, just to record what are the quantities I have 
And if I want to record those reasons, what was consumed versus what might have been wasted, lost, or damaged, or other reasons that are configurable. So that's all it takes to get data flowing to help build visibility and transparency and trust. Um, also, there are some more powerful features for vaccines that I'm going to show. So I'll jump over to a laptop here and um, in my Firefox browser, I'm going to log in now as a warehouse clerk. And I'm going to show how OpenLMIS can track lots, expiration dates, and even the VVM status of vaccine vials. So in a warehouse, one of the more frequent tasks is issuing out vaccines. Um, so I'll go to issue, make an issue, and in this setup, I'm actually dealing with a variety of, of vaccines in my warehouse, but I'm gonna add you know, the product that I'm shipping out, the rotavirus vaccine. And in this case, I have lot tracking for this product. So I'm gonna ship out some of this lot that ends in B, um, yeah, we have eight of them left, and I'm going to issue out all of them. All these locations and reasons are configurable. I'm going to issue out uh, the entire eight. And you can also track VVM status for vaccines to know, okay, was this vaccine still flagged as good? I'm shipping these out today, and I'll click Submit. So I've just issued out my last eight of that lot B, and I can see the status for every single lot and the total that I still have on hand. And for any one of these lots, I can go and view the history of when that was used and by whom. So those are basic stock management features that make it easy to start tracking vaccines for COVID. And in other demo videos, we'll also show simple report and requisition workflows. We will show how report and requisition can work with stock management seamlessly. The stock management can auto-populate the requisition to easily create an order with the push of a button. And we also have other demo videos showing the CCE management and other features. Basically, OpenLMIS has lots of ways to get started tracking COVID vaccines easily with the most important data points and then grow over time to fit lots of more advanced supply chain processes. Thanks.